who were the black and brown people inspired to write the Bible? Icons of black prophets and apostles. There are illustrations of a number of key Bible figures as black people throughout the historical records. Sacred images of St. Luke, John the Baptist, the prophet Isaiah, St. John the Evangelist, even St. Peter can be found. Perhaps the most numerous grouping of these illustrations is to be found in the tradition called iconography. What is an icon? In a general sense, an icon can be an easily recognized symbol loaded with meaning. The Christian cross, for example, could be considered a powerful icon. The American flag and flags in general are icons meant to have meaning on more than one level. In early Christianity, icons took on a very important role for two reasons. First, most of the early Christians could not read and secondly, the early Roman society was orientated towards portraiture. Early Christian icons were not just simple symbols, but illustrations depicting entire episodes and teachings of the scriptures. They served as sort of a poor man's visual Bible, showing not only the central characters, but additionally, some of the key scenes, stories, and lessons. Icons were developed that told the whole story of the life and trials of Jesus, Mary, John, the Baptist, and others. But there was a science to iconography as well. Holy icons were not just simple pictures. They were very careful reproductions of the original works. In a fascinating book, The Meaning of Icons, Russian scholar Leonid Opinsky notes, Church tradition traces the first icons back to the lifetime of Jesus in the period immediately after him. As is well known, the art of portraiture was at that time flourishing in the Roman Empire. Portraits were made of relatives and distinguished people. He goes on to cite historical reports of an icon drawn during the lifetime of Jesus and one of Mary shortly thereafter. The image is necessarily inherent in the very essence of Christianity from its inception, he observes. Since Christianity is not only the word of God, but also the image of God, according to this Christian belief, he concludes, the icon is placed on a level with the Holy Scriptures and with the cross as one of the forms of revelation and knowledge of God.
holy icons, usually portable paintings, were holy not because of their artistic merit, but because they faithfully imitated the originals. Thus, when we see icons in the Russian Orthodox and Greek Orthodox churches of dark-skinned prophets and apostles, it is no accident. They are imitations of original icons. As we've pointed out time and time again, the stereotypes that our young people are exposed to are by and large historically incorrect and paint a negative image of black civilization. The popular depiction of Jesus and other leading personalities of the Bible as Europeans, unfortunately, serve the same purpose. The building up of negative stereotypes based on lies and deception has been an important tool in the brutal enslavement of the black and brown races of mankind up to the present time.